bio-based squid devices. We are trying to measure the biomagnetic field of the giant protein molecules. I'm working on terahertz quantum cascade lasers. So we work on large area X-ray imaging. What we're doing is we're making these uh, flat panels. I'm working on um, mass sensors, um, the, the micro mass sensors and micro switches. The MRL transformed into alpha acidic, which finally transformed into G2N, and that's what we have today. A world-class, state-of-the-art laboratory capable of thin film electronics uh, from both inorganic amorphous silicon, polysilicon, microcrystalline silicon, and also organic electronics. The future is really very bright. In the long run, I think uh, this is really going to be a cornerstone of discovery for Canada. I would, I would definitely say it's a CFI that has uh, enabled um, and has had the vision to enable such, uh, such discovery. My name is Arthur Cardi. I'm the Executive Director of the Waterloo Institute for Nanotechnology and I'd like to express a very warm welcome to the members of the CFI OMS Committee. I have read the report in great detail and the 15 projects which are represented here include four which are more or less exclusively in nanotechnology. However, in all of the cases, in all 15, the Canada Foundation for Innovation, uh, the equipment and the infrastructure that it's provided has been crucial to the development uh, of the projects themselves and the progress in the area that they represent. At the University of Waterloo, nanotechnology and quantum computing are strategic priorities of the institution and fit well in with the strategic plan of the institution for information technology and advanced manufacturing technologies. Nanotechnology is inherently interdisciplinary. It will have an impact in many ways across all segments of our society and all sectors of industry. It also requires extremely expensive and sophisticated equipment and instrumentation and infrastructure to enable researchers to see and manipulate matter on the nanoscale. This is where the Canada Foundation for Innovation has played a critical role. Without the instrumentation and the infrastructure provided by CFI grants, the leading edge research in areas such as plastic electronics, atomically precise uh, manufacturing, OLED devices for displays, and advanced technologies for energy storage, uh, and uh, conversion would not have been possible. So I'm working on MEMS and then this is uh, really helpful in measuring velocities and displacements. Uh, make smart robots by using this one. These robots are for micro uh, medicine or nano medicine. Uh, so many publications, patents we got by using this machine and I think it's very very important uh, for the sake of the research for us and to sustain this kind of research in Canada, specifically at this university. Because of this, we attracted many different funding and many good faculties and the high quality, high caliber students. The infrastructure and equipment provided by the Canada Foundation for Innovation has been instrumental, you might say, in helping to attract and retain highly qualified researchers in various areas of nanotechnology and, and quantum computing. This is, a, I think it's a very crucial uh, instrument and, uh, and also it enabled me to uh, recruit uh, graduate students. I heard about this as being one of the finest labs in this, uh, in this part of the world. It was almost a no-brainer. So all of us, six students and I, moved out from the West Coast to Waterloo in order to make uh, use of uh, the G2N facility. The beauty and genius of co-locating two major institutes of nanotechnology and quantum computing is that nanotechnology will be the bridge to the computing and communications devices of the future, the quantum devices. Excellence is not inherited. One has to earn it. And to earn it, you need to have excellent people and outstanding research programs. In many ways that uh, CFI is uh, uniquely configured to nurture and foster the leading edge science and uh, engineering that will be possible in the quantum nano center. Uh, in order to be a major player in, in, in this field, it is absolutely essential 
that you have access to the leading edge state-of-the-art tools and equipment to manipulate matter on the nanoscale. We hope uh, and pray of course that CFI will continue well into the future and help us as we move ahead with our dreams for, for winning the years ahead.